Good morning. So in our last video, we have used uh, the WHERE clause on how to select specific uh, data from our table. We also have learned how to combine the uh, different operators and the percent sign in our WHERE clause just to be more specific on what to retrieve or what to update in our table. Now, for this video, we are going to add an additional column to our database. So, my WAMP is already running. Let's open our phpMyAdmin and our table users. So currently, we have three attributes for table users. We have user ID, email, and password. So let's insert another column for our table users. So to do that, we are going to click structure and we're going to add one column after password. So I'm going to just click go and I'm going to place it as name. The integer type should be text. And let us click save. Okay. So we have successfully uh, created or added name to our table. So let's check our table so we have here user ID email password and name so I'm going to insert a name for my entry number one by double clicking the column below the name and I'm going to type here one O quotation and dragon okay. so I have successfully inserted a name for this first row which is 1 O dragon so let's go back to our code so this is our code from our previous lecture so I would like to select from table users where name would be the one I have inserted which is 10 dragon so for that to be selected I will first use a variable and I will place the value of that name which is 1 o dragon so what i've done here is i've used a variable to just to store the name that i will be searching which is 1 o dragon again i'm giving emphasis to it the o has a quotation on it so let's try to uh, edit our query since we're going to use the name the where clause so name is equal to so instead of typing one o dragon 
I'm going to type the variable name. Okay. So, again, this is how I use my my variable, single quote, double quote, a full stop or a period, and the variable name. After that, double quote, single quote, and a double quote. So, let's save it. 